Hey there, everybody. It's RCK, and I'm glad to have you back here again for our next episode of our Dominion series that we have going on here. Of course, we're looking at Slanesh. Made another ice dabble, found roughly 50, uh, 100, about 130, 140 more slaves this turn. Uh, took another province underwater with our demonettes. Uh, assassination attempt. It looks like they did take out a cultist. Very unfortunate. Uh, plus 200% tax isn't too bad. Took out some filthy brigands, of course. And we're just kind of going through, you know. Uh, we're empowering. What are we empowering in? There's no telling. Let's see. 18, 281, 69, 43. We're empowering in air. That is what we're doing. Cool. Anything else in particular? No really going on here we see so many dwarves here not sure what they're doing um no really no clue what they're doing honestly but we see known is massing troops at 93 probably going after that throne there they are getting pretty large very shortly they might have enough thrones to win so we'll keep that in mind. We see Middenheim still with another force. Not sure why no one attacked them. It seemed like they've been pretty friendly the entire time. And I don't really see a lot of Nolan's forces in this area. Other than the group that went down there. I don't know if they're just fucking with the orcs or not. Uh, so that's interesting. Making some rings of regeneration. Making some more demonettes. Going to continue through the water here, and this is going to allow us to see a lot of this area over here. We should have moved scouts over here a lot sooner, but oh well. Nothing really going on, really. Just doing a lot of blood hunting, that's really it. How's our research going? Uh, blood 9 in 2 turns isn't too bad. Then we'll go through Conjuration, I suppose. All right, let's end this turn and check out the next. That was turn 46, I believe. Yep. I'm going to look at 47. Uh, more and more blood slaves, more demon nets. We did power in the air. Uh, unfortunately, we lost 11 there. Very unfortunate for sure. Could be that poison damage, but I thought we had poison... Yeah, they have poison resistance. There's no telling. I mean, there is a lot of them. Two Ettons we're taking care of. Hi, Magnus died. Which one? One over here. Okay, at least it's not the one that we have really suited up and empowered. Uh, empowering again. I, th I don't know what we're empowering in. Blood, maybe air, probably air again. It's air. Uh, so going up another level in air, more than likely, because we will be hitting Infernal Tempest next turn. We'll probably start summoning them with uh, the God, along with these Keepers of Secrets. Uh, and honestly, even these guys, I think we can get high enough to start summoning them with, too. Uh, so we're going to be going for Storm Demons. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, we're just kind of taking it slow, researching, getting things taken care of. Still not sure what's going on over here. I don't know if they took that. I might have already been theirs. Looks like they did lose this province of Monster Toads and Bog Beasts. That's interesting. We're moving a bunch of scouts over here. Uh, yeah, we're not doing a whole lot. Armor of Souls, that's a blood booster. All, the only things still up are Mother Oak and Eternal Pyre. Alright, we're getting through these, uh, 
later game turns, I mean, we're just we're just not doing a whole lot. Like I said, we were just playing it slow, having a good time. And then we see this and we're like, what? What is going on? Why is he attacking us? Well, he broke his net. So that was interesting. There's three water gems right there. Very nice. But yeah, Nolan ended up breaking his nap on us. He, his excuse was... Uh, I was ha I had a bunch of thrones, and I figured you were going to attack me anyway, so I went ahead and broke the nap. Now, that's not cool. Not cool at all. Even if you were winning by thrones, I wouldn't have broke my nap to attack you. I would have still waited. But yeah, he broke his nap with us, broke his nap with the dwarves. Uh... Uh, did someone, did he break his nap with somebody else? I think he broke his nap. don't remember if he broke his nap with these guys too. Yeah. We got dwarves over here. I think these dwarves moved away. Not sure where. But yeah, now we're going to have to punish him. So we're summoning demonettes in that fort there. Not really doing a whole lot there. Uh, we're casting Infernal Crusade. So we're making our demon army. Uh, Infernal Tempest, Infernal Tempest. Uh, not a whole lot else, but we were like, what in the world? So we're going to have to deal with this. And all that he really attacked us with, these gray wizards, two gray wizards, and what else? Those are those other ones are magic phase attacks, and they, now we have some amethyst wizards, and an amethyst wizard, wizard, and a gray wizard. Now these were regular phase. Uh, now they're just casting horde of skeletons, if I do believe so. At least the amethyst wizards are. Now it looks like these gray wizards are casting um, elementals. So yeah, our PD isn't going to be able to do a whole lot, but we'll get them. We'll get them. So we took another underwater province, and we see that the orcs were starting to take some as well. And honestly, where we are, we can probably just take this away from them. Like, we have no reason not to. We'll have to see. We see a dwarf's taking some of this by having 12 over here. That's interesting. see a lot of fire drakes at 24. This can be dangerous. But yeah, we have to uh, deal with Nolan now. They wanted to break their nap, and that's not cool. So we're going to start getting ready. Of course, we have all of our casting, uh, or all of our mages casting stuff right now. And we're just going to have to uh, kind of amass something really fast. We're not really making many troops anywhere, not too worried about that. Um, just summoning a bunch of units. Because we, I mean, we have a, still have a large stockpile, we're spending... Upwards over 200 slaves this turn. We're making... Goodness. Probably making about 200 a turn. Uh, so yeah, we're going to just have to take care of that. And that's going to be all for this turn. And now we're going to invade Nolm, I suppose. We'll uh, see what we can do in getting him on as many sides. See if he'll be able to beat us or not. So that's it for turn 48. I had a whole lot, not a whole lot going on there until this attack here. I knew it was coming up. I couldn't remember on what turn it was coming up. But we do have some really sweet mages we're going to be able to throw in there. Uh, and yeah, we did change our research because of it. We did hit, um, of course, we had Blood Magic 9. Uh, but we're going to hit Evocation 6 for things like Wailing Wind. we probably put Wrath of God up. Uh, Firestorm would be nice. Conjuration 7. What well, we Conjuration 7 for? Probably for Elemental... No, not Elemental Royalty. Uh, we can do Ivy Kings. Living Water, Living Earth, Living Clouds, Living Fire. And then Evocation 7. Stuff like Wind of Death. Uh, other than that... Uh, are we Stigging Rains? Maybe. We could cast it. 
We'll have Mur Murder and Winter up for sure. That'd be a nice one. Not really an Essence Storm kind of guy, but definitely Firestorm. Then we have 88 or 88 Water Gems. Probably have about three casts worth of Murdering Winter here. and I mean, Cold 3, that's going to be able to deal a lot to these human troops if he's invading us like that. So we got to start, uh, start getting ready for sure. I know it doesn't look like we're doing as much back. But I mean, we could teleport these guys in, do their own air elementals, and kind of go back and forth with that. But I'd rather just have them keep researching. I mean, we'll have Evocation 6 on one turn. Now, hold on. Yeah, we'll have Evocation 6 on one turn. Be halfway to uh, Conjuration 7. Um, probably just go straight into Evocation 7 first. That'd probably be a little bit more beneficial. So, yeah, that's what we have going on, and that's what we're going to deal with. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.